Welcome to the Automators Podcast with your host, Jackie Stook and Joe Glines. In today's podcast, we're going to talk about are we cheating at work when we use AutoHotKey? Hey everyone, it's Joe Glines here out of Dallas, Texas. Yeah, and Jackie here from Copenhagen, Denmark. And so the other day I was uh, I was driving and I was listening to YouTube and, and this guy and the video was demonstrating someone in was in stream and they were they were um, streaming their their gaming experience and then he saw these pop ups and he basically said look this is how I know this girl's cheating is I can actually see the GUIs and then later she says like oh I don't know what these things are she's trying to save face but um, he was talking about how uh, he can tell she's cheating because this and it it kind of popped in my head of like. I wonder if people think, you know, in a sudden degree that we're cheating when we use auto hotkey, when we write a program to streamline our quote unquote work, like do they, you know, some people look, you know, bad at that. And it reminded me when I was at TI, um, some of my colleagues, because they, they would say something and I would show them how I do stuff. And I had automated a lot of the processes and, and they were jealous. And then that actually was one of the reasons why I left the eye was she went to my boss to say how she was jealous. And my boss, instead of my boss saying, hey, Joe, can you give that to her? My boss actually came back to me and said, you really shouldn't be automating this. <laughs> right? Which I'm like, oh, my God. Um, but I thought that was an interesting overall kind of mental concept. What do you think, Jackie? Yeah, I, I I agree that to some extent it could be viewed that way. And I've had a few, maybe not heated discussions, but something like that when when talking about cheating at games and stuff like that. And maybe one of the things when you you um, you talk about games, games are as fixed as absolutely possible, right? Both players or every player needs to know the exact rules and they need to stick by them. But when you go into the real world, into a work situation, it's every man for themselves, so to speak. So it becomes a much more blurred thing. When are you actually cheating at work? If you can complete the task better, faster, more securely than your colleague, then you'll probably get some kind of praise, promotion, whatever uh, in the long run. And it's a good thing. But if you can save time on a game or uh, beat all the rest of the players because you ain't abiding by the rules or whatever it might be, it's a bad thing. So the hard part of that is really differentiating the two. No, I I agree. And, And I think you're really spot on right in the sense of thinking about how it, it more and more, I mean, years and years ago, it was everyone kind of worked either, let's say, by the hour or for a very, you know, they bid something. But some jobs, they've tried to change it more where it was really based off your productive, you know, how much you could produce in that time period, right? So it didn't really matter how many hours you worked. It's did you produce and, hey, you, you did 12 tables, you get $1,200, whatever it is, right? And I, I almost wish in a lot of ways – um, work, you know, in the office was more like that, but it rarely is, unfortunately, unless you're working like at a call center and there's an easy way to track those metrics. Because, uh, boy, you can, you, you know, without a hotkey, you can really save an amazing amount of time and really shine. Um, and not only that, but give it, you know, here's the other thing is, like I wanted to do, give it to your colleagues as well, right? Because unlike in gaming, there's no cost you know, when, when some people overly succeed compared to the other ones. And I don't lose in any way if I give my stuff to my colleagues, right? I should, we should, we're all lifted. Yeah, that's that's kind of one of the differences there, right? At, you could easily share it and put everybody on equal ground. And if you did it in the game, that... That would both just be like changing one of the game rules, um, and that's just not how it works in the real world, right? It, it, those two are so different in their concept of what they are. Most people in the real world will only abide maybe by the law or the, yeah, the laws of physics or whatever, whereas in a game, the, the, the rules are so much uh, more narrow. Um, and and I'd say absolutely at work, some might see it as cheating, but 
probably only if you don't share it. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, and the other one that actually dawned on me, and, it, and it's, it's funny because I've been doing this one for 20 years, is we know corporate America, sadly, they don't spend a lot on their computers they give to people, right? Often they're very slow, ridiculously slow. So years and years and years ago, I learned how to stop loading a lot of the stuff that I don't use just to free up more RAM, right? And I would have colleagues that would literally like start the computer, go get a cup of coffee because it would take forever for them to boot up or just to load a program. Um, and it's one of those things, like I said, I, you know, and I think a lot of people like that use AutoHotkey have the same mindset of like, this is ridiculous. You know, <laughs> I'm going to find a way to to have a better computer, whether, and honestly, I'd say like, hey, I'll pay for it. You know, that'd be fine. But um, usually they won't let you do that. So I would just find a way to optimize my computer, you know, stop doing other stuff. There's a lot of things you can do to help speed up that environment. Um, even just getting an SSD drive is night and day. Yeah, and, and again, we get into to that aspect of that's a good thing. If you can utilize your tools better or if your company is more productive than your competitors or you find out that if you use this program compared to that program, uh, you can actually uh, pump out uh, more um, items or whatever it might be. And in everything seen within the corporate world, that's positives. Whereas uh, where people would normally see it as cheating, there needs to be a rule that says you can't do that. And that's probably where you get into industrial experiments and something like that where that's that's a level you need to go to to begin and and be able to actually cheat in the real world and then there was one other aspect which you had brought up you want to touch on that about the seniority yeah yeah that that's also right that if if people are um i don't know how to word it right now um can you try to well, yeah, sure. Well, it was just, we, we were talking about it a little bit before we started recording, and you mentioned how, generally speaking, you, you know, your colleagues, who are usually at an equal level, have a similar playing field. However, you know, more senior people, generally speaking, get better computers, you know, or have, have better programs or whatever to be more efficient. Why? Because they cost more, generally speaking, right? So it does make sense for them. And I think it's kind of applicable for AutoHotKey as well. We were talking about that of Look, we could, with auto hotkey, we should make decisions on what we automate, right? One is if I have something that a lot of people are going to use, hey, it's probably, especially if they're going to use it multiple times, that's a great thing that if I can automate that and give it to them, it's awesome. Or maybe I take the other angle and find stuff my boss or my boss's boss is doing and they're spending time on. And suddenly now they make up, you know, probably like five, often, you know, three to five, you know, of us other people, right? So, you don't have to have nearly as many people using it to save an equal amount of, of money in that sense. Yeah, absolutely. When, when looking at it that way, uh, often <laughs> a company will look at the people on the floor and try to optimate, uh, optimize their workday, how much time they spend. And fair enough, there's a thousand of them. Uh, and only a hundred um, in, in management. But more times than not, if you can save uh, an, a manager an hour compared to uh, five minutes on the floor for everybody, you have probably saved the company more money. Right. Yeah. So anyway, um, what do you guys think? Are, are we quote unquote cheating with auto hotkey? Um, I, I don't think we are, right? It's it is a kind of a sexy topic though. So I'm probably going to record a few more videos talking about it in general, just because it, I think it helps people wrap their brain around what we're doing with auto hotkey, right? And in, in some sense, we're making up time that we wouldn't have been able to do. And, and we're going to do things that people who don't have our scripts can't do or can't do as efficiently or as effectively or as quickly, you know, or as accurately. And, um, you know, it's, it's a huge win. I wish more people tried to cheat at work, so to speak. Yeah. Absolutely. Awesome. All right. Good talking, Jackie. Yeah, bye, Joe. Bye.